African wildebeests. Do you know that the best friend of African wildebeest is the zebra? They graze together in the same grassland and migrate together each year. This is the story of my journey in Africa to see African wildebeests. There is so much excitement and adventure in Africa. This is the convoy of our 15 double cabs. We went through seven countries in Africa. This was the adventurous group of Malaysian that went to Africa for a month. Half the R group came from West Malaysia. The other half came from East Malaysia. Wildebeests live either in grassy plains or in woodlands. You are most likely going to find them in the world-famous Maasai Mara National Reserve in Kenya or Serengeti National Park in Tanzania. However, you can also find them in the southern part of Africa. Wildebeests are some of the most phenomenal animals on the planet. To see them from the air even more spectacular. While there are those who find them unattractive or not charming enough, The truth is that they are some of the toughest animals you'll ever come across. They are strong, determined, and vibrant. Oliver in Africa do not be surprised that he is always around you in the woodland or in the air while taking his best angle. The wildebeest has interesting looks, the head of a cow, the body and tail of a horse, and the legs of a gazelle. The wildebeest can reach a height of up to 1.35 meters at the shoulders and can weigh up to 200 kilograms. For a rough comparison, a full-grown animal can weigh as much as a full-grown male lion. Despite their size, wildebeests are vulnerable to the lions, wild dogs, cheetahs, and hyenas of the African savanna, and as such, need to travel in herds for protection. The leftover will be eaten up by hyenas. As such, need to travel in herds for protection. A herd can have as many as 1,000 animals, especially during migration. Wildebeests are active in the mornings and late afternoons to escape the midday heat and sleep at night. They tend to make a lot of noise while resting, which makes them vulnerable to predation.
The gestation period of the wildebeest is about 8 months, with mating being seasonal. Wildebeests seem to have perfect timing as most calves are usually born close to the beginning of the rainy season when food is plenty. Wildebeest calves can stand and run within minutes of being born. This is an adaptation to avoid predation from lions, hyenas, leopards, cheetahs, and jackals. A wildebeest can live for as long as 20 years. Even though wildebeests tend to live together, they do not seem to mind the company of zebras as their feeding habits are complementary to each other. Zebras love eating the top layer of grass, while wildebeests prefer the bottom layer. This also explains why they migrate together. They also love to travel together with giraffes as they can see predators coming from a long distance. When grassland dried up in the savanna, they will gather in big number and start to migrate. They started to gather in big number, sometimes 1 to 2 million strong before starting their great migration. While an African safari cannot be complete without seeing the Big Five, witnessing the annual Mara-slash-Serengeti migration of the wildebeests is a thrill that cannot be expressed in words. Such great migration as if there is a time clock to reach their destination. Our convoy was so lucky to witness such great migration. Our group were totally amazed to see the gathering of wildebeests and zebras in the big savanna at the Serengeti National Park. It was here that I took the most number of good shots in my animal photography collection. When migrating, they appear to rely on some memory of the locations where foraging conditions were best and may predict conditions months after their arrival. The first one to jump into the river is the most daring one as there will be so many crocodiles waiting for them. Crossing the Mara River is a spectacle that has been recognized as one of the natural wonders of the world. It is one of the best opportunity to photograph them while crossing river.
it is a journey of no return, once you jumped, it is either you live or die? There will be others at the back pushing those in front to jump. Can you see how many crocodiles in the river? Most of them will make it across the river. You can see here the migration of wildebeests together with the zebras. They will cross the river by the millions, some of them will be eaten up by the crocodiles, only the fittest will survive to carry on the next generation. There are other obstacles they needed to overcome on the other side of the river and sometimes they will be places very steep to climb up. Nevertheless, this is really their annual destination. Never have I seen such a great migration in my life before. It is absolutely beyond my wildest imagination and expectation. I consider myself as the luckiest person in the world to witness such a spectacular event in my life. All of a sudden they all started running as if they can smell something fresh in the air over the southern pasture. They will travel to their destination by day and night. Therefore, wildebeests are regarded as most strong, determined and vibrant animals in Africa. It is my hope that you have enjoyed your journey with me so far. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Good night.